Hey everyone, today I'm going to be testing how tough the toughest smartwatch is. I've been wanting to get a smartwatch for a while, but I've wanted one that could hold up to the extreme conditions of the Action Lab. The only smartwatch that's going to work for me is one that I could wear in space or on Mars if I needed to, one that I could be frozen in ice at negative 40 degrees Celsius and still check a text message, and also use it to shield my face if someone shined a 100,000 lumen flashlight on me, and of course, I need a smartwatch that would let me dive down 100 meters down in the ocean and it would still work. I discovered the Amazfit T-Rex Pro. They say it has military grade toughness. Amazfit was pretty confident in the toughness of their watch, so they sent me some to test out in extreme conditions. So I'd like to thank Amazfit for sponsoring this video. So let's see if an astronaut could actually wear this watch. Okay, three, two, one. Down to 0.8 atmospheres in there. The watch still looks fine. Okay, we're down to 0.2 atmospheres in there. Okay, we're at a full vacuum in there. Let's see if we can actually get a text message. <laughs> Hello in space. But yes, an astronaut could wear an Amazfit T-Rex Pro watch in space. So this is connected through Bluetooth to the phone. So yes, Bluetooth can go through a vacuum, of course. Now let's open up the chamber again. Three, two, one. Everything seems to work just fine. That's awesome. That's a tough watch. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is actually freeze the watch in liquid nitrogen and water, so it's gonna be in a solid chunk of ice. Okay, we're gonna measure the temperature of our ice as we do this. Now let's put this in the liquid nitrogen. Oh man. Whoa, the cup broke. <laughs> so because of the rapid change in temperature, my cup shattered. Okay, here we go. Okay, look at the temperature going down. Okay, all the water should be frozen in there now. Look how cold this is. We're at negative 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, negative 40 degrees Celsius, look at that. Even negative 41. That is a cold watch. Negative 42 degrees Celsius, negative 43. Okay, while it's this cold, let's see if it still works. I'm gonna try to find my watch. It's still buzzing in there, listen. Listen to that, at negative 43 degrees Celsius. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, let's see how it's working still. No way. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at that, it's still working just fine. That is a cold watch. So extreme sub-zero temperatures, no problem for this watch. Okay, now we're gonna be testing what happens when I shine my 100,000 lumen flashlight on the watch. For reference, I have a black construction paper behind it. So let's see if the watch can hold up to the heat of a 100,000 lumen flashlight. Three, two, one. Holy cow. Well, the paper is actually smoking. No way. Look at that, the paper is smoking. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at the imprint of the watch here. So you can see it's burning the paper around it, but the watch is just fine. So this watch should be able to withstand temperatures up to 70 degrees Celsius. All right, so in order to test how waterproof it is, I've attached it to my underwater drone here. I'm gonna drop it in under the water, navigate some, go as deep as I can, and see if the watch still holds up. Okay, hopefully my watch doesn't fall off the drone here. Let's put it in the water and see what happens. Oh man. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if this still works now. Okay, here we go. The watch looks just fine. Look at that. So this lake only goes around 30 meters deep, but technically this watch can go around 100 meters deep, up to 10 atmospheres of pressure it can take. Okay, that was actually pretty impressive. I'd like to thank Amazfit again for sponsoring this video and sending me these watches. The Amazfit T-Rex Pro is pretty cool. It has GPS on it so you can take it anywhere you want. It has 10 atmosphere pressure water resistance. It has a blood oxygen saturation measurement system, a weather tracker. It has a compass, a barometric altimeter. And what I like the best, it has an 18 day battery life to it and over a hundred different sports modes as well. If you wanna get your own Amazfit watch, I put a link in the description. You can click on it and get yours today. And thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell to be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.